morning lovelies and happy vlogmas day 23 one day to go blimey time is just flying by um it is 10 o'clock sunday morning and i've already been up four hours no five hours i've been up since five didn't have a great night's sleep last night Hub's husband was coughing like mad all night keeping me awake so anyway Got up at five and um, yeah, I got a fair bit done already. I've been for a run. I've done five, just over five miles today. So that's good. Um, and um, I have just completed wrapping presents for the rest of our family and friends. So all the wrapping is now done. Husband has just iced the Christmas cake. So that's done. I'll show you that in a little while. And um, yeah, update on the mouse situation. So the other night we came home from York and we totally gutted the cupboard where the mouse droppings were found and the half-eaten mince pie was and um, yeah so that's all done and clean and sorted out however we laid a mouse trap and it's not been back so far so um yeah that's the situation as is um don't know if it's gonna be back over christmas but we'll see and we'll deal with it when it does finally arrive um, the plan now is I'm going to make mince pies and um, I also want to get my skirt cut out. Now I was thinking about that skirt pattern that I showed you yesterday and oh my arm is aching. Um, and to be honest I don't think I want to make that pattern because I've not made it before and that fabric it was quite expensive even with the discount and it's really quite precious fabric. I really like it so I don't want to make a pattern that I've not made before. Now I do have a new look skirt pattern that I've made three times previously. Um, only summer skirts but I've really loved them. It has a facing rather than a waistband and comes to just above the knee and I'm thinking I'm going to make that one so I need to find it out because I can't remember what pattern it is but I'm pretty sure it's a new look pattern so let's have a look through my new look patterns now and see if I can find it. So I've just dragged one of the boxes of my patterns out and this one does contain all my new look patterns so let's have a look through. Um, it's definitely not that one. This is a pattern I've made before. This was one that I got from um, I got from eBay and I've made this dress here. Um, really, really lovely pattern actually. Um, what else have I got? This one I think was a freebie. Um, New Look 6471. Quite like those tops and to be honest I think they might be quite good for, for work in my new job. That might be something I'll look at. Um, this one, New Look K6532 again I think that's quite a nice top I like the the shoulder detail just there that would be quite good for for work in the summer um this one I made last year 6507 well earlier this year actually um yeah made this version here it's quite nice for summer this one I haven't made yet 62 no 6524 Got, it's just a shift dress with different sleeve options. I have to be at my slimmest to, to get away with this kind of dress otherwise they just I just tend to make me look frumpy. Um, this dress I've made before 6207 is a really old one and it's one of the ones I made when I first started sewing. Yeah so this one um, I made it a couple of times it's really nice as a summer holiday dress it's really nice and floaty um, and it does have a tie on the back as well so you can tie it um, obviously around the back or around the front if you want to have that nipped in waist look. This one new look 6243 I'm not sure if I've made this one I think I have I think I've made that version there um, probably about three years ago but it didn't fit very well from what I remember but my fitting skills back then weren't that great. Um, this one K6467 this was a freebie with a magazine. I have made this, I've made this version, version A but the hemline it's got this curved hemline and it has like a facing and I just find that they just don't 
sit very well maybe it's just me but um but yeah that was a dress that i made and only wore once um 6282 i've never made this as yet but again i thought it was quite nice with the splits for like a summer holiday dress this one 6966 is an older one and i bought this to make my daughter a polka dot dress she was in a um a drama um production a few years ago and needed like a sort of a bit of a rockabilly dress and I'd not been sewing very long so obviously I needed something that was fairly straightforward and I made her one of these versions I think out of a black and red polka dot cotton so and it worked quite well that looked nice uh this one 6022 I have made this one but I found this was massive um, I made it out of some star print viscose a few years ago, but it was enormous and I think I only wore it once. This one, 6141, drop, it's like a drop waist dress. I did make this a few years ago, um, but I got so far with it. I wanted to put lace sleeves in and I got so far with it and gave up. Again, it was very early on in my dressmaking career. So my skills were up to a lot at the time, but it's something that I'd possibly revisit. Um, 6094, I haven't made this. I've had this for about three or four years now. But, um, but yeah, it's not something that I've made as yet. 6150, this is a really nice top pattern actually. Um, I've made this two or three times now. Um, I really like the ruching detail on the side of the top. I think it's really flattering. So, um, yeah, I've made that two or three times. It's a definite, a definite win. Um, 6074 coat pattern. I've never made this, but I really liked the silhouette of the coat. Um, possibly something I'll get round to in the future. 6493 this one was really popular a couple of years ago um i did make it i made obviously this version here the short play suit version um but again found it a bit big um i would like to revisit it so it might be something that i have a go at in the spring 6291 again this is a nice summer dress pattern that i've never made um you can have it either halter neck or with thin straps. That'd be nice. Might be nice to do next summer. Um, and the final pattern is a pajama pattern. No idea why I bought it. To be honest, I think I bought it to make pajamas for my daughter very early on in my career. But um, I think I've made it once, and that's it. Well, that's all my new look patterns, and I was pretty convinced that the skirt pattern that I wanted was a new look pattern but it's clearly not amongst those so I'm going to have to hunt through all my other patterns now to see if I can find where it is. I found it and it's not a new look pattern at all it's a butterick pattern it's this one B4461 just bring that back now this looks when you look when you look at the drawings on the front of this packet it looks really frumpy and really not very appealing, shall we say. However, it makes up into a really quick, nice little skirt, to be honest. And I've made this a few times. Um, I think some of the some of the fabric choices on there leave a lot to be desired. But um, but yeah, I've made this a few times and it's actually a really nice basic little skirt. So, but this is definitely the one. So I don't know why I thought it was a new look pattern. It's, this is quite an old pattern now. I've had it a few years. So it's probably out of print, but yeah, for a basic little skirt, I'd really recommend it. It's, um, yeah, it's got loads of embellishments on it, this kind of thing, but I just made a very plain skirt with, um, it's got no waistband. It's literally a, a facing that you just turn under um, and just a zip all the way up the back. So um, yeah, it's really easy, really straightforward. So yeah, I'm gonna make that. Right, I better get on with some mince pies. So mince pies, this time of year, obviously we're all pressed for time. So I am gonna, get myself all het up over making pastry so I've bought pastry and um, I haven't even made my own mincemeat either 
but you know I'm just all about trying to make life as simple as possible which probably would be even simpler if I just actually bought mince pies but I just think there is so much to be said for actually making your own because I just think you know the, the difference is just unbelievable so, uh, so yeah I always tend to make my own mince pies over Christmas Right, I've got it cut out. Now, what I've done is um, I've got the front piece, which is just cut on the fold, the back, which is two pieces, and then the facing. So you've got the front and the back facing pieces. Now, I've just cut these out of black, co black cotton rather than the cord, because I just think facing cut out the cord is just going to add too much bulk around my waist um, so I thought that would look okay I didn't have anything else in my stash that goes um, but I think that'll be okay so this should be a really quick sew so I'm going to get that whizzed up now in the next um, hour or so and uh, we'll see how it looks when it's done right so it's nearly finished I've just got the hemming to do I just wanted to show you my invisible zipper so that's gone in really nice and neatly. I'm, I'm loving how that pattern matching is there. Um, yeah, really neat. So really, really happy with that. Inside, if I can just show you one-handed, um, obviously here is the cotton, the black cotton facing that I've understitched. And I've also bias bound it as well. It's interfaced with charcoal interfacing and I've just bias bound the uh, bottom of the facing there and then um, neatly stitched the facing to the zip. So as I say it's a gorgeous gorgeous little skirt pattern. If I turn it over you can see just how neatly it looks from the front. So essentially all you've got is two darts down the front but with having no waistband and just it faced it's just really 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 nice so i've just pinned and tried on the skirt it fits really really well um i've just pressed the hem up by probably a good few inches there um so what i'm going to do is do the bias binding on the hem as well and then hand stitch it so that you don't see it through from the front and then try it on and show you so it's finished um, really really happy with it. I've hand stitched the hem and I've also hand stitched down the facing just to the front darts and the side seams as well so that just stops it from flipping out. I know I've understitched it but it just gives that extra little bit of protection to stop it flipping out. So I'm gonna stand back in the room then you can have a look and see what you think. In fact I think what I'm gonna have to do is stand on my chair so you can see it. So here's the skirt. Um, I've hemmed it to just above my knee. Obviously if I turn round, um, it's got a nice concealed zip in there. And uh, yeah, I mean there's a few little drag lines across my hips there, but, um, but that's okay. Um, it's a little bit big on my waist. I think I could have probably gone down to a size 12. But um, but otherwise, really happy with it. I won't wear it with this top. I'll probably wear it. I'll probably, I'll probably wear it with a um, 
I'll probably wear it with a, a black polo neck. I think that'll look really nice. But yeah, it's an absolutely fabulous little pattern. And I think, oh, let me just grab it to show you it again. You would never think that a, that pattern would make such a lovely little skirt. Um, and I think it really just goes to show that you shouldn't always look at what's on the pattern envelope with the big four or big eight or whatever they are now. Um, because sometimes, sometimes um, there's some fabulous little patterns and I think this is my go-to skirt pattern especially for showing off a really nice print like this because um, it's got no lines to interrupt it really so so it's really really good so yeah highly recommend this pattern um just wanted to also say Astrid was asking me um what the name of this fabric is now I'm going to have a look and I'm going to put it along the bottom of the screen, Astrid, for you. It's a Lady McElroy. I think it's a Renaissance. I think it's called Floral, Floral Renaissance. But I will have a look and put it along the bottom for you. But just bear in mind that a lot of the um, fabric stores that are selling it rename it and give it a different name. I know So Over It did. I think, I'm not sure if So Me Sunshine, not So Me Sunshine, like So Amazing had it and they changed it as well. So yeah, so just be aware of that um, if you are looking for this particular fabric or any of the Lady McElroy's, I guess. Um, okay, that's it, I think, from me today. Um, I'm going to sit down with a cup of coffee now, I think, and just chill out because it's been a really busy day. I've made about 30 mince pies and um, they've turned out quite well, so that's good just been speaking to my daughter on the phone so we've just been making the final arrangements for picking her up tomorrow so tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day work in the morning picking my daughter up tea time ish then we've got to get back from Leicester and then we're gonna have a little buffet tomorrow night um, so looking forward to that it's gonna be really nice so I will see you all tomorrow bye bye